Hi, this is how I made my tapering jig and my first attempt at narrating throughout the video. So I'm getting started by cutting both the base and the fence to the correct width. This can be any size based on your table saw. After this, I'm going to cut it to a length. In my case, one meter or a little less than 40 inches. Now it's time to make the slots for the bolts that guide the adjustable fence. I'm going to start with a wide enough bit so the bolt head can sink into the material. This needs to be done on both ends. After that, I'll make a groove so the bolt can pass through. This also needs to be done on both sides. This time, I'll make the cut in multiple passes. Now for the fence, I'm going to do the same thing, but this time almost the entire length and stop just shy of the edges. Because this is pretty low quality plywood, I'm going to give it a quick sand to get rid of all the slenders and rough edges. Time for some accessories. I'm gonna add a push handle which I made from a wooden dowel and a rubber bicycle grip. I can now make the final cut in the base to get a straight reference edge. For the clamping accessories, I decided to use 3D printed parts. These are actually more than strong enough. I'll also add a link below to where I found the print file. And finally, here's the first test cut on a scrap piece. I'm excited to put it to use to get straight and angled edges. If you liked the video, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. See you next time.